Okay, so once you get started, you're going to open up Multiplicity, click on the installer. It's going to open up the standard EXE file. You'll click Agree to the Terms, click Next. You can install it to the root directory. It's only 15 megabytes, so it's really, it's very, very small. Once it's done installing, it'll bring up a primary or secondary computer. You click primary for the one you want to share the keyboard and mouse with. Enter in your product key, or you can purchase or try the 30-day free trial. Click enter your product key, and I'm not going to show you my number, but you know, it, you'll enter it in and it'll tell you, great. Now you have two modes, seamless and KVM. Seamless will transition between the screens if they're connect if when you install uh, multiplicity on the two computers. KVM will remote will remote over the screen to the primary computer so you can just control it on the same screen. You don't have to look you don't have to turn your head back and forth. Seamless really is the way to go these days. So you click seamless, enter in the computer's name or it'll detect it on the network. As you can see here, you click add. There will be a password that will show up on the secondary computer. You just type that in. Uh, for the sake of purposes, I'll use this password. And once you do that, then you click save. Click always use this IP address if you really want to. You don't have to. It's not mandatory. But it's if you wanted to always have that same IP, then you can click that. Oh, place your computer on the grid of which way you want the mouse to transition to the next computer over. I'm going to pick to my left here. And once you do that, you'll get this little notification on the corner saying you are ready to go with multiplicity, successful connection. So that is how you set up the seamless mode. Now let's move on to the KVM portion. Okay, so to do the KVM mode for multiplicity, you'll come down here to your taskbar. You'll right click, go configure multiplicity, come into the KVM portion, and you'll see a set of options here. Show the control bar, disable the delay, use a dark gray background rather than a black, Default the stretch mode so it fits the local screen of the resolution, meaning when you go into KVM mode and it brings the screen onto the primary computer, it will make it fit the resolution, which in my case for this example would be perfect because the secondary computer is a 1600 by 900 resolution, whereas the primary is a 1920 by 1080. And then automatically connect to the last time to the last computer used when entering KVM mode. So if you have multiple computers, it will connect to the last one that was that you were connected to. So first you go to add computer and once again you'll see it's scanning and you'll see the computer that it recognizes which is Sputnik. So we'll click add. Yeah, the password's already been entered because of the last because when we did it for seamless mode. Okay, and then you click connect and you'll see a little flicker and there you go. It'll bring up multiplicity on the primary computer's monitor from the other computer. And as you can see here, here's the control bar so you can switch to another monitor. You can switch between monitors if there's more than one on each computer. Yeah, so you get full control over everything. You can open up whatever programs you need. It's very much a KVM remote in software. So it kind of does a double purpose there. It's very handy. I really like it. And this is how you set up the multiplicity KVM. Uh, click on the next bar below for just going through the options menu, finding out how you can configure your multiplicity to be the best it can possibly be. Okay, now it's time to optimize your multiplicity. So go to your taskbar, right click and go configure multiplicity and I'll bring you to here and this is the seamless mode. Now this is the mode where you can pass your mouse from one monitor to the next without actually taking over the screen. So as you can see here, I'll bring up a grid and this is how you move your monitor to tell you which, which way the mouse is going to move to enter the next screen. So if I move it here and I, and I pass my mouse upwards, then it will transition to the next computer. We go into the KVM mode. This is the mode where it will bring the other computer to the main computer's monitor. So this one has a lot more features to it. So enter KVM mode by pressing and you can assign that to a hotkey. You have here always show the control bar in free space on the screen. That was that bar we saw at the top here. Disable the delay in showing the control bar when you move the mouse to the top of the screen. So that's a little fade kind of thing. Use a dark gray background rather than a black. Default the stretch remote contents to fit the local screen resolution. Once again, if you have monitors that are different resolutions natively, this will scale it up or down depending on which way you're going with it. And automatically try to connect to the last computer used uh, through the remote system. So if you have more than one computer, whichever one you connected to last will be the one that it tries to connect to first when you go back into it. If we go into settings now, 
Now settings are in these KVM softwares. These are the really like meat and potatoes things, and this is why you buy them. Is because a lot of them have so many robust features to them, such as share your clipboard between multiple computers. So if you want to say copy a Word document or something from one computer to the other, now you can do that without having to pass it through an email system or pass the file through an FTP server. It's really nice that they kind of build these easy ways to do things in right into the software. So share the clipboard between computers, share text, share files, share images, and allow files to be dragged between computers. This is a this is what is becoming like one of the most widely wanted features in a KVM where now you can just drag over a file without actually having to worry about it. Uh, once again, about having to worry about how you're going to get over there, whether you had to use a thumb drive, FTP server, email it to yourself. It's just drag and drop now. It's simple as that. Pressing control three times will toggle the keyboard inputs between all computers. So if you hit control three times, it will type whatever you're typing on one computer, it will type to all of your other computers. Lock the segmentary computer when this computer is locked. That's pretty self explanatory. Once you lock down your main computer, it will lock down the second computer and automatically unlock the computers together. Show the status window when controlling another computer. That was just bring up a status bar. Darken the screen when controlling another computer. So as you pass over your mouse to the other computer, it will darken the screen. So that way you know where the mouse cursor is and where it's not. Show your multiplicity on the system tray. That is this right here. Prevent the num locks syncing on your computer on computer switching. And only allow clipboard connections from computers on the same subnet. And this is really kind of one thing you want to click is that way it prevents it just prevents like random random people from jumping in and dropping stuff on through other computers. So if they're on a different network, then you don't have to worry about it. So that's a very good feature to have. So now we move into hotkeys and here you can assign hotkeys based on what task you want it to do. So keyboard shortcut, uh, switch to this computer, primary on the right, primary computer, Sputnik. And you just assign it to the hotkey, you press the hotkey and it'll do whatever you need it to. It's a really, it's not a very, you know, complex thing. It's kind of one of those just quick little shortcuts that they build into these programs. Audio. Now this is a this is one I haven't seen with with any other KVM that I've given a tutorial on. Enable audio sharing, which is really really cool. If you enable audio sharing, you'll receive the audio from other computers and you can send audio out to other computers, which is just super super neat. I think that's really cool. And you go into your advanced settings and you can only receive audios from computers on the same subnet, which is a great thing to have. They use a lossless uh, compression when sending, so that'd be like a FLAC or a AUG compression. Send audio when receiver is online. That's pretty cool. Enable Control F12 hotkey to toggle the sending of audio. Disable Windows 7 8 jack detection and hide audio system tray. So when you have Windows 8, 7 8 jack detection, that's like when you plug something in, it says uh, this jack is being used. This will disable that notification in that detection and then the high the audio system tray icon so that that should just get rid of this uh, the speaker at the bottom here so now we go through there and you can change the receiver passcode so that way you can control who's getting what who, who's being able to do what on your on your KVM and then you come down to the about section and that is just check for updates change your license your online user guide and automatically check for updates every week this is kind of one of those it's the about software. It tells you about multiplicity. If you want to know more information, you want to check for your updates. Uh, you can check for your updates manually, but I just leave this on. It checks every week and it's very, very good about it. And that is really it. That is your KV, that is your multiplicity KVM 3.2. It is a very, very good piece of software. Really one of the best I've seen so far. And I am very happy with the result that they've given me when they when they provided me this product sample I cannot believe how many features they've built into it especially with that audio sharing feature that is a very rare feature I have not seen in any other KVM I've tested so far and really one I hope a lot more people ad, uh, adopt and plus having the option between seamless and the KVM remote in is a very nice addition to this to this package 
because many many kvm softwares you see now just tailor to the seamless version and they just want to pass the mouse back and forth because that's what everybody wants to do but sometimes when that is not an option you really want to just remote if you don't want to have to turn your head or you're busy at the moment with other working you just need to kind of get something and get it quick you can just hit the hotkey kvm in bring the screen to you you take what you need and put it drop it where you need and then get rid of the kvm screen and you're back to your work multiplicity is an amazing piece of software edge runner has done an amazing job with it if we come to the website here you can see that they tell you about all the features that they're able to give you and they'll even tell you like what they can do in each mode which is a very well built website because lord knows many other websites do not tell you all the features but edge runner really tries to tout it and really tries to show you what can you do with their software that's a very nice addition if you go to the purchase now screen you can see here you have multiplicity 3 km which is only twenty dollars and it'll let you control up to two uh two pcs with one mouse and keyboard most of multiplicity 3 kvm which is up to nine pcs and a one pc kvm and obviously you get more features because this one is about double the price at forty dollars and then if you go up one more level you have multiplicity 3 kvm pro up to nine PCs and nine PC KVMs. And you obviously get every feature with this. This one is 80 bucks, but mind you, these are not subscriptions. These are the one-time fee that you pay for this software. So it is very much a an investment in yourself, an investment in your business. They do a very, very good job with it. For even $20, if you're just a person trying to just hook up your two computers and you don't want to really have to do that much work, this is really what you want, especially if you're just looking for the seamless mode. It's perfect for you. That's all you really need. And then, obviously, if you're a pro, if you're a small business, you want to get the KVM Pro. You want to get the $80 edition because that is how you are going to maximize your efficiency in your company. With having when you have multiple employees when you have multiple things going on going on and you need stuff to get sent out given away right like right then right now this is how you do it you do it with a piece of software that reduces your lag time that reduces your workers time and that way you can get more out efficiently as you want it done and that is the kvm pro that is eighty dollars once again, you there is the option of the KVM, just the regular edition. That's one PC KVM, nine PCs they can control. It, it's great for that. This is more for a solo business that just has more surface area in terms of a space to cover. So that's $40. This is overall a great piece of software. You can't go wrong. It's something that I would highly recommend to anyone that is looking for a KVM. So that has been Multiplicity, guys. That has been the software by Edge Runner. This is something you really want to take a look at. I'm very happy with it. And I hope the tutorials helped you in how to set it up, how to configure. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to tweet me, email me at both of them are littlerex2015 at gmail.com and at littlerex2015. Or if you just want, just put it in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. I want to thank Edge Runner for providing me with this product sample so I could review this and round off my KVM tutorial series. And I want to thank all the other companies too. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I hope it helped. And like I said, any other questions, by all means, tweet me, email me, leave a comment. I will get to your answer right away. But thank you guys. I have been LittleRex. This is the conclusion of the major KVM tutorial series. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.